All right, then welcome back, everyone. So let's solve this question. Target practice. Let me read out the question for you. A 10 by 10 target is made out of five rings, as shown. Each ring has a different point value. The outermost ring has a value one, like for one point. The next ring has point. Next ring has two points, and center ring, so on. The center ring has five. So basically, I hope you have played that game of darts, right? So the farther you score from the center, the less points you get, right? So this entire thing they are saying is of point one. So basically now it's not a circular board; it's a square grid basically, by ten by ten target board that they have shown, in which uh, basically the outermost one uh, has a points value one, and so on. Basically, this uh, you know like the second ring has a value two, third ring has a value three, the fourth ring has a value four, and so on and so forth. Right? So they're given some points to it. Fine. Now Vlad fired several arrows at the target. Let them determine how many points he got. Okay, so this guy has fired some arrows at the target. So let's see how the input is given, so we can get an idea. Firstly, of course, first line of input will be number of test cases. Each test case consists of 10 lines. Okay, each containing 10 characters. So basically, um, and let's see, each character in the grid is either X representing an arrow or representing one arrow. Fine, so basically in input also we are given a 10 by 10 grid, right? And wherever there is X, uh, an arrow was basically arrow was thrown by this guy, Vlad. Right. So basically this guy Vlad threw several arrows on this grid. And as input also, we are given a grid. Right? As input, we are given a grid. And wherever like in input, there will be excess present wherever his arrow hit. So we just need to sum all of them up, right? That's what we have to do. Right. So okay, here he hit literally all of them. Right. So he hit hit all of them. So and then just take one example and see here he hit like basically the arrow was on the entire board so I guess every possible point and uh, second case is zero so yeah he didn't hit it on and like he didn't hit on any cell right so really if I want to simplify the question what this is we are given a 10 by 10 grid and every cell has a point associated with it and as input we will also be given a grid and there will be some cells marked and we have to basically sum every cell there is a score associated right and as an input, we are given basically a grid in which some of the cells are marked and we just need to collect the scores for those cells, right? I don't think that's much to this question. Anyway, uh, since we have a 10 by 10 target grid, okay, again, I'm assuming that beginners are watching this video. So how do you approach this question, first of all? One thing you got, right? So for every cell, there is some score associated and we just need to collect the scores for every X marked cells, right? So 10 by 10 grid and for every cell, there is some score associated. Wherever there is X, this collected score, right? Now, since it's a very small grid, this 10 by 10 grid, why can't they, why can't I just hard code the values? Right? Uh, like, how did I get this idea, first of all? Like, how did I get this idea? See, it's a new four contest. If I'm giving a new four contest, the questions, like, at least the first three or four questions will be very easy. Like, even if I just starting out, you'll be able to solve first three questions. Maybe the fourth question might require some thinking. And the first, like first two questions, you'll be able to solve it like without even thinking. Okay. You just need to know your C++ well. Then you'll be able to solve first two questions. The third question is also usually very easy. So I just thought like, think about the simplest thing that can be done here. And since the 10 by 10 target, and one more observation, even if all the X's were present, all the X's were present, the score is not exceeding 220. So it is suggesting there is some brute force involved here, right? <laughs> because you can you can just uh, make a scan through the entire input and your job will be done, right? So the algorithm is actually very simple. First, screen the board, hard code the values. So what you need to do is, uh, I'm not even going to waste your time. Let me just paste it. So this is the board. Just uh, hard code the board here. Okay. So in, of course, in contest, you might have to type it, but just type it correctly, right? The first string, the first string has one, inner ring has two, then another inner ring has three, and so on and so forth, four and then five. So hard coded the board. And then what you need to do is, the input is also a 10 by 10, uh, matrix right so what you can do is you can just uh, start taking the input and check if x is present we can add its corresponding value on the board the score so basically i'll just uh, initialize score to zero what what the thing is here ask what does a uh, total number of points okay so maybe just an initial total and uh, there are basically it's a 10 by 10 grid right so we have to take an input for 10 by 10 grid and see it's to zero c less than 10 Let's take the matrix input, char CH, CN, 
okay it's now it see it is not equals to dot because dot represents a uh, no arrow right so that's what they are saying right x is representing arrow and dot representing no arrow so if it was x that is arrow was on this end we can just add just add its corresponding score right so this and see out sorry uh, i guess i went a little bit fast here but that was very simple here is the board wherever the x is pick up its correct score and add its score that's not much let's just print it and confirm the answer okay okay it was totally right not total supposed to print new line okay when you get an easy question you have to don't get too excited as you still have to solve it right 170520 let me just quickly submit it yeah it works uh, so that was that thank you for watching i'll see you in the next